Välkomna till USA. So in this vlog we will actually speak English. I'm kind of in a hurry right now, so I'll need to get some good breakfast. Let's see, let's take some bread pack oats. Come on, somebody. The thing when you're eating food in America is you gotta maximize that high fructose corn syrup. Maple, brown sugar, cinnamon, spice. Wow, let's go. Okay, this is how you do this. Take three of these, take a pot, go. Then you can't forget a very important part of life. The ginger shots. Cheers, mate. Oh, that feels so good. <sighs> Hallelujah. Whew. Listen to this. What if Jesus wants to come really close to you today? Boom, the oats are ready, but we need to have some something healthy in there so we don't die. So I'm gonna take a banana. Let's go. All right, folks, time to eat some breakfast. Breakfast is ready. My friends Jess and Ellie will come and pick me up very soon. Actually, in like two minutes, so I have to hurry up a lot. But hey, we're going to the Redwoods today in California. It's gonna be awesome. What was that? You've always wanted to go to the Redwoods. What an awesome day. You can join me if you want to. All right, I think the people are actually here. Let's go. Wow, look at these people. Oh gosh. What's up? You can have the front. Who is this people? What? What's up? Hi, Marvin. Nice to meet, nice to meet you. You're on camera. Hi, Emma. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. No, I don't, no, I don't think so. Ellie, please explain to people Hello, what happened. Hello, and we're live. So we were going north um, on the Oregon Trail. We're not going north? West. We're we going were gonna go west. west. <laughs> we're going, why are we going west? Can you please explain? We're going to the Redwoods. We looked it up this morning, woke up. There's snow. You have to have chains on your tires. Obviously, chains on your tires to drive in the snow. We chains on our tires. Welcome to America. Home. Um, so, we have to go south because we can't go north. So we're going south. We don't know where. Somewhere within a 3.5 mile hour range. Something like that. <laughs> but first, let us get coffee. Coffee done. Where are we going, Ellie? Tell us now. We're going south to a place uh, south called. of here <laughs> in south, California. South. Wow. And um, we'll see where we go. <laughs> we south. actually don't know yet. Okay, I thought we knew. <laughs> All right. See you later. Peace. I just felt God come really, really close to me, and I was like, Lord, what is this? And He just said, The community that we have in our car right now is just we're th like our souls are being ministered to because God is coming so close. And I just felt so stirred to just share this with you because God is so close to you right now. Come on. He's encountering you, and He's just He's just bringing more joy into your life. So I just declare that into you, like wherever you are, if you're sitting at your computer watching it on your phone, I just release that to you that God is close and He's always with you. Wow. His name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What are we doing? Get the speakers so we can party. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to America. It's what they do. They drink Dr. Pepper. Look. Whoa. A Mountain Dew. Yes. Why is the focus not working? There we go. Boom. What are you getting though? Coconut. Tell me. Coconut water. Coconut water? Is that not Super good enough? Fresh. 
There's two kinds. Two it's kinds. America. There's always more kinds to choose from. <laughs> so, has which one is best? Root sugar in it. Sugar is that good or bad? No, you don't want to add sugar in anything. Oh. This is what I'm going to go for. You're in a healthy American. One. Where, where did I find you? Oh my gosh. I'm from the Northwest. We live our lives differently there. We're going out. Emma, did we find anything? We didn't find anything. Wow. We went in here, we went to the bathroom, and Jess got a coconut water. Oh, wow. It's all about Jess, you know. All, all, just kidding. All about Jess. Mama! Yes. Sometimes wish I'd never been born at all. Where are we at, Emma? We're at Napa Valley. And Napa we're Valley. Go walk around, check out some oh. classes. Yes, Lord. And um, yeah. It's well, gonna be great. Get some food. Yes. Yeah. We need food. We're getting food. Food, food, yes. Food. <laughs> Whoa. So Jess, what are we like eating? Like, are we just picking? Something? Yeah, you just pick something that you want. Cool. Can I get this? Emma, what's in your head? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I got it off of the cart because it's starting to rain a little bit. Wow, Emma, yeah, come on, glass. make it happen. Yeah. Yes. 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 Wipe that off. There we go. When you are in America, you have to buy a burger. A really good burger. Look at this glory. Yes. Mm. Hallelujah. This is this crazy good? It's like revival good. It's like anointing attached to this. Thank Jesus for American burgers. So good. It's my friend Jess. Jess, they've probably not met you before, but hi. Hello. Why don't you share something Sweden. that's on your it's heart? A wonderful country. Have you? Yeah, you have. Yes, I have. I remember Awakening. I stayed at Come on. grandma's house. It's yes. fine that you don't remember. It's okay. <laughs> Whatever. It's all good. Guys, I just want to ask you a quick question. Who is God to you? Is he someone that you maybe grew up going to church and he's, you know, you don't really like think much of it besides, you know, Christmas, Easter, Sunday? Is he um, someone you don't even believe in? Or is he someone you actually know as a friend? Did you know you could actually know him as a friend? Come on. I just want to encourage you guys that wherever you're at right now, whether you're sitting at your computer, whether you're on a train, in a car, I don't really care where you are, but right now you can stop and you can ask God to show himself to you. And he'll actually show up as your friend. Just the, the way a friend would know things about you, God knows things about you. And I just want you to take a moment and ask him to reveal himself to you. Ask him to reveal himself to you through um, a sign or a person speaking to you or a dream. I don't care how you ask him, ask him and, sh and watch him do it. And I want you to know that you can have like a personal relationship with him the same way that you can with a friend. Come so on. tell us what happens, have fun. Hey, and we're live here in Napa, California. We just found the end of a rainbow. The end of a rainbow, and it's like it is a double rainbow. It's kind of hard to see right there, but and we're live here. you can see a double rainbow. Whoa, whoa, what a view, huh? Just want to tell you guys that Jesus is so close to you, you know. And so, all that you need to do really is just turn your affection towards Him because Jesus, He loves you so much and He wants to be close to you, He wants to fill you up. But he does that through you just turning your heart, turn your affection upon him. And as you do that, Jesus will start and come because that's just who he is. Turn your affection towards him even right now and just say, Jesus, come and fill me up right now. I want to encounter you more deep. I want to encounter you in a personal level. Christianity becomes boring when we stop realizing that Jesus wants to have a relationship with us every day throughout every single day when we're at work, when we're traveling, whatever we're doing, he wants to be with us all the time. Intimacy with Jesus is a lot more simple than what I think we make it out to be sometimes. For me, it's always been this constant conversation that never has stopped. He's just when you're when you're in him and he's in you and you, you are aware of Him with every breath and you're just aware of His presence. It's, it's just, you see Him in everything. Yeah. And you, 
just be opened up to this this reality of of him being in all things mm-hmm. and he speaks to you as you ask and, and then he can receive you know you seek and then you can find and so you just start inquiring of heaven and and just asking him to reveal himself to you and and just as a father loves to give his give good gifts and, and show himself to his children he, he does and he in ways that we don't always see but when we're looking when we're asking and having that conversation we can really just our, our awareness of him increases and then we can actually hear him speaking to us the way he has been all along and that the conversation never ended we just are learning to actually tune our ears to his voice and see him in everything Hey folks, God bless you. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bless you. Thanks for today. Love you. Awesome. All right. All right bye. See ya. It's been a good day. We've been enjoying ourselves. Hope you guys have been having a good time. Remember, Jesus is so close, always. Turn your heart towards Him. He wants to be with you in everything. Peace.